Hello everyone and I welcome you all back to another video of our web development series and in this video we are going to look at functions okay I know we did it in the previous video but um, we looked at the function all right but there is something which is you know there is more in the uh, functions which is left okay so okay let's have a function okay suppose I wrote function let's say get milk and suppose I pass in two variables one is uh, cost per bottle and one is total money okay so what is happening here is um, I am giving you know uh, total money to my robot and I am telling him okay go and give me these number of bottles okay and like get me these number of bottles okay suppose cost per bottle is let's say 3 rupees all right and total money I gave him is suppose 7 okay so what should be the number of bottles it would be 7 by 3 I mean the question would be what and I would be getting the change as uh, what one right so I can simply have console.log number of bottles total money divided by Hospital bottle, right? Okay, works. So I'll you know suppose I just call this one get milk and I pass in cost per bottle three and seven and I save it and I run it. Now see it is showing me two point three three three. Obviously I cannot have this number of bottle. So for this we have something called math dot flow okay so what it returns me is suppose my answer is 2.333 it would give me 2 suppose my answer is 2.7777 it will still give me 2 so you know it just uh, gets me the flow of any decimal number so flow of any decimal number is you know the whole number which is smaller than the decimal okay so if it is 2.33 what is the smaller number that like the whole number smaller than that 2 obviously right 2.77 what is the smaller number or the whole number than that 2 okay great so here what I can do I just uh, can simply write math dot floor and I'll save it I just run it again. Let's see uh, what is the output here. Let's see what the terminal would show. Create. Who is what we want to have. Now I want this function to give me something like, like what? What should be it? Um, make it should you know return me something okay so in this function what we had we uh, take an input and we use that input inside the function to do some calculation okay and that is that this function take an input but what if this functions need not you know print this you know but it 
returns me something so for that there is something called return and then anything we want to return let's say expression so let me just okay this you know see this code so i use the word return and we use an expression so what we can have we can say return and what would be the money left with me it would be what total money modulo possible bottle okay great now it just doesn't have to be math no problem because obviously remainder would be whole number now this should be you know contained in a variable so i can say var not like this var i can say change equal to get milk listen so you know what would happen we would call this function and whatever this function returns me any expression which in our case is you know the money left is inside this variable change and i can use this variable anywhere okay uh let's see if we if i save it and if i try to run it let's see what would happen let's see if it would print me something if it would not print me something okay it print me something because i called this function and i had something on so dot log here if i comment this out and if i save it and if i run it again nothing obviously because there is no expression printing here but it is returning something which is inside this variable so what we can obviously print the value of the variable see one that would be the change which would come to us okay so i guess you understood what is the return part of a function and it is not simply just you can use console.log for you know uh what should i say um just you know getting if i am getting a return i may have to use it many times okay so in the future video after we learned a few more concepts we'll talk about uh, or we'll make a project which would you know we'll see how if a function returns you something how we use it instead obviously we just won't be needing console.log change because if i can console.log i can simply do it here but this have to do something else in my code okay so great now i'll just you know uh control k u control k u and here i have console.log change as well now if i click on it obviously the function would be called so it would you know console.log this and since it is returning a value it is printing that value okay so i hope the functions in javascript is absolutely clear to you if you have any doubt you might or you may put it in your in the comment section i would surely look at it and would help you clear it out okay so i guess that was all for this video and thank you for watching and see you later